you see my last video I introduced this 1962 International Scout to you and what my plan was uh, that plan has not changed because I do have a lot of vehicles projects here so my plan and my purpose is just to get this one running it came to me without seats and no seat brackets um, so I've had to make my own seat brackets and installed the uh, rugged ridge high back non-reclinable seat and the reason why I did that is because one there's no reason to be reclining the seat um, I think the driving position is perfect for all the members of my family and so that's what it's gonna get uh, and also Rugged Ridge is the best deal out there. I'm not sponsored by Rugged Ridge, but their high back seats less than $200 a piece really good deal. So um, That's why I bought them and they are waterproof uh, Easy to clean easy to maintain Especially for a vehicle like this that doesn't have a top. So that's what it's gonna get um, the Other things I've done so far for this update is that I added um, Bumpers, simple bumpers. I got it from a Bronco. I noticed that some of the stock international has the uh, front bumper, front and rear bumpers from uh, Ford, Bronco, Chevy, whatever have you, the old school metal ones. And uh, the rear one is just a modified bumper from a TJ uh, because I wanted a place for someone to climb in and sit on the back seat. Now, this is a truck, but it will be designed as if somebody can go back there and sit down and enjoy. Um, it's an old vehicle. It doesn't have a lot of like safety features, uh, more advanced features than other vehicles. But as long as we know we, as in me and myself and my family, whoever is driving the vehicle, know that, then we can take care and that we can make sure that we're not being dangerous and don't get into an accident. That's how that works, right? I cannot wait to get it run as soon as I'm done with the seat belts today, seat belt install, three point seat belt install, then I will go ahead and uh, start installing the 21 circuit um, wiring that I purchased for this vehicle and I'll do another update of that once it's done. I'm not gonna go through step by step what I'm doing. This is just pretty much an update on the project. So you can join me on my adventure and getting this thing to run, getting on the road, uh, and then having fun with it pretty quickly. Well, that's all I have for you this week. I hope you enjoy that. Thank you. Aloha.